Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Jojo Coco Studio. Now today we're gonna to do a paint mod on my Mastercase Pro 3. And also I'll be showing you how to disassemble the, the case itself as well. Now, um, disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. I'm going to uh, basically do like a mod vlog. And if you wish to follow along and do this on your Mastercase Pro 3, feel free, but at your own risk. Now, let's get started, guys. All right, first things first, let's just check out the equipment we have right here to do this paint mod. Now, let's start with the paint itself. I'm going to spray paint the case mainly white. So this is the this is the spray can I'm using, the Rust-Oleum. And uh, I've chose the flat white, not a glossy white, because I want to... I want to match it with the default black that, that came with the Mastercase Pro 3. The other paint is the, is the red paint. And so I'm thinking of having some red accents around the, the case. So, but I haven't, uh, haven't really thought about how it would look like, but I'll just, you know, think along. We also got some, uh, some safety first stuff. So obviously some glasses and some, uh, some, uh, paint sanding respirator. Yep. And uh, we got some sanding paper, which is like a thousand grit as well. It's good to sand off like the surface of the case. Some gloves and some screwdrivers, scissors, duct tape. Very good for like um, protecting some areas that you don't want. And uh, some plastic so that we can uh, protect like other, other things. Like for example, our walls and things like that. Tissues and, uh, and also some cloth. Guys, you see this piece right here? This is the hardest piece that you have to take out. Apparently, you have to push over here. See these holes? Just push it with something, like some kind of a, a tweezer or something, something strong, and it just pops out. Alright everyone, I think that covers nearly everything in terms of like taking all the parts out. And as you can see that it is stripped to the bare bones. Well, the structure. I mean, it's uh, it's still possible to take out all these um, these rivets as well and I can uh, do a paint job on this on this structure. But I think I might do that on my next video. So keep in mind guys, watch my next video. And um, of uh, looking through all the parts and I've decided uh, what to paint. I'm definitely painting this one, these two ones, so this will be white. I'll be taking out this acrylic uh, window as well, so I'll paint this white as well. I am going to paint this white as well. This is the, the handle on top. I'll be painting here as well white, over here. 
And last but not least, I'll be painting the, the front bit, which is uh, which will be white as well. And as I said earlier that the red accent, I think I'm going to paint this honeycomb. Obviously, I have to take this, this honeycomb out first so that I can leave the, the front mesh black and then the, the big honeycombs, I don't know what you call it, the hexagon thing will be nice and red so it'll look like you know red hexagonal honeycomb shining out from this black mesh and same as this one as well so okay let's get started with uh, taking these guys out and then we'll start we'll start uh, scrubbing with the sandpaper and take out the I don't know the surface of the, the plastic this is focus yeah focuses This one was quite difficult, but I've managed to just take it out. So guys, unfortunately, this hexagon thing is actually uh, part of this plastic area. So what I have to do is, if I still want to paint this red, I have to cover all the sides. But at the same time, I want to paint this white. So I guess let's... Um, Let's paint the white first, and then we'll sort the red out later. Okay? Cool. And last but not least, we have to take this acrylic out from the side panel. I think it's quite straightforward. Oh, just that. That was easy. Just gently push this out. I nearly dropped it. Ah, there you go. Awesome. Now guys, I'm going to use some soap and sandpaper to sand this, this bit off. Alright? So, it's just like water mixing with soap. And I'm just going to sand it. Make sure, you know, I mean, that's what I heard from, from what I learned. We, we should really sand it very well. And um, according to many people, if we sand it very well, the paint will really stick. Let's do it. So after the sanding, as you can see that it looks like this part is worn out. And obviously this is what we want trying to sand out all the, the surface off so that the paint can really stick to it. But then as I was sanding it, I thought to myself, wait a minute, this paint is actually um, paint plus primer. So I guess uh, the primer helps, but um, at least we sand it and so Hopefully that, that, that's like an extra help to, to stick this paint onto to the parts. We are so nearly there guys. As you can see that I've managed to paint all the parts in white. So obviously this is the front, that's the handle. This is the feet, but uh, yeah, we won't see this area because the case will be on it. So we only see this, the, the, bottom, the bottom white bit. That's pretty cool. Over here is the, the honeycomb that I mentioned earlier that I wanted paint, you know, in red. That's the front part. 
And that's the top part, but I'll have to take out the masking tape off. And these are the side panels as well, so looks pretty neat. And let's put all this together. Let's peel this tape off and hopefully it'll be a satisfying moment. Oh, I hope it doesn't bleed. Wait for it. Oh, man. Oh, that feels so good. How about this one? What? Oh, a little bleeding. No, that's fine. Don't worry. Tell me, guys. Does this look pretty cool to you? Kind of a, a transformer theme if there was some little blue, right? But luckily there's no blue. Check out these cables. I got them from the local store. It fits right perfectly into the red and white theme. Excited. Look at that. So this is pretty much done. And just looking around here, we this is on the left hand side. And I'll find a way to put a dust filter in here, but for now I'll just leave it like this as as is. Maybe I'll just uh try cut this thing so that it fits, so I'll put this at the back obviously and so this red will really shine and at the top looks really good too and I really like this red and white the theme is really good and we got some nice black interface in front and yeah wicked so overall, that was fun and tiring too, but it was very worth it. I mean, look at it, the outcome. Well, in my opinion, I really like the color of the case, the theme, the white, black, and red. I hope you guys like it. And um, I've learned quite a lot of things actually, as this is like my first time spray painting something. And one thing I want to tell you guys is that work in an environment where there are no bugs. I had a I had a bug that all of a sudden it just flew onto my case and it ruined like a tiny bit of my my paint but that was all right I just spray painted over be super patient with everything because uh, I'll have to be honest I was a little bit impatient waiting for the paint to dry I was like looking at the parts and then just like touching it around and I accidentally dropped one of them so that was stupid of me but whatever well guys, unfortunately, this is the end of my first vlog and um, if you uh, have any questions, leave in the comments down below. If you like this video, please press the like button and if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe because uh, you can follow you know, my other videos if I upload new videos. And um, well, see you later guys, I uh, hope you're all the best and, and uh, okay, I guess uh, I should go now. Okay, bye!